In a never-ending quest to unravel the mysteries of our solar system, a groundbreaking study led by researchers from Brown University has recently shifted our understanding of Venus, Earth's enigmatic neighbour. Long perceived as a hostile and barren world, this new research, published in Nature Astronomy, challenges our fundamental perceptions of Venus. It suggests that billions of years ago Venus may have exhibited Earth-like plate tectonics, offering a window into its past that could reshape our knowledge of planetary evolution and the conditions necessary for life. This research, spearheaded by a team from Brown University, utilised Venus's atmospheric data and sophisticated computer simulations. Their findings suggest that Venus's current atmospheric composition and surface pressure could have resulted from primitive plate tectonics. This geological phenomenon, vital for life, involves the interaction of multiple continental plates, including their convergence, divergence and subduction. On Earth, this tectonic activity has been a dynamic force for billions of years, leading to the formation of continents and mountain ranges. It also contributed to crucial chemical processes that stabilised Earth's surface temperature, creating a hospitable environment for life to flourish. Contrastingly, Venus, Earth's closest planetary neighbour, took a markedly different evolutionary path. Today it exhibits extreme surface temperatures capable of melting lead. The prevalent theory has been that Venus's surface comprises a singular, relatively immobile tectonic plate, a stagnant lid scenario, which restricts geological activity and atmospheric gas exchange. However, the recent study challenges this notion. To explain Venus's high concentrations of nitrogen and carbon dioxide, the team posits that Venus must have undergone plate tectonics between 4.5 and 3.5 billion years ago. The early tectonic movements on Venus were likely limited in scale and scope, mirroring concurrent tectonic processes on Earth. Matt Weller, the study's primary author and a former postdoctoral researcher at Brown, now with the Lunar and Planetary Institute in Houston, emphasizes the significance of this discovery. This finding potentially places two planets in our solar system in a similar tectonic regime at the same time, a regime that is crucial for life as we see on Earth today, he explained. This discovery underscores the likelihood of microbial life on ancient Venus, and illustrates how both Venus and Earth, similar in size, mass, density and volume, were more alike in the past than previously assumed before their paths diverged. The research further explores the idea that the occurrence of plate tectonics and possibly life itself might largely depend on timing. Previously, we've thought about the planet's tectonic state as a binary concept, either present or absent for its entire lifespan, commented Alexander Evans, co-author and assistant professor at Brown. Our findings suggest that planets may transition between different tectonic states, which might be more common than we thought. Earth might be an exception in this regard. This notion holds significant implications for our understanding of planetary bodies like Jupiter's moon Europa, which exhibits signs of Earth-like plate tectonics, and for the study of distant exoplanets. Initially intended to demonstrate how exoplanet atmospheres can reflect their histories, the researchers turned their attention closer to home. They started with the hypothesis of Venus having a perpetual stagnant lid. However, this model failed to recreate Venus's current atmospheric conditions, especially the specific levels of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Adjusting their model to include a phase of early tectonic activity, followed by a stagnant lid period, aligned the simulation with current atmospheric data. This result affirms the study's approach of using atmospheres to gain insights into a planet's ancient history. We're accustomed to using planetary surfaces to decode their pasts, said Evans, but this study highlights how much we can learn about a planet's early history through its atmosphere. Future NASA da Vinci missions, which will analyze the Venetian atmosphere, could further validate these findings. Meanwhile, the team is keen to explore a crucial question raised by the study. What led to the cessation of plate tectonics on Venus? The paper suggests that excessive heat and a dense atmosphere might have halted tectonic activity. Essentially, Venus ran out of the necessary energy, bringing tectonic movements to a halt. This innovative study marks a significant milestone in planetary science. It not only revolutionizes our perception of Venus, but also enriches our understanding of the dynamic and transformative processes that shape planets. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the insights gleaned from Venus's ancient tectonic activity provide a crucial piece of the puzzle in understanding the intricate dance of planetary evolution. The forthcoming NASA da Vinci missions, aimed at examining Venus's atmosphere more closely, promise to build upon these findings, potentially unlocking further secrets of our solar system and offering profound implications for our understanding of Earth's own future. Thanks for watching.